many of us would be happy to extend the 24-hour day by a couple of hours to get more time to sleep. Brightside knows six secret sleeping techniques that will give you up to 22 free hours a day. Don't forget to consult your doctor if you decide to change your sleeping patterns, especially if your work requires increased attention. At the end of the article, you'll find a bonus that will help you wake up on time and feel rested. Our ancestors slept in two phases separated by a period of wakefulness. This period was considered a special time and used for spiritual practice, contemplation, and reading. If you want to try polyphasic sleep but don't know where to start, this is the method we recommend. For most people, it is the most comfortable option, and it can be supplemented by 30 minutes of sleep for adaptation. Buckminster Fuller came up with the most effective sleeping technique consisting of taking 30-minute naps four times a day every six hours. He claimed to have never felt more energetic. After two years of this schedule, the famous inventor was examined by doctors and declared to be in perfect health. This is the most extreme sleeping cycle. For many, this is an effective and convenient sleeping technique. There is a shortcoming, though, you can't break the schedule and skip even one sleeping period, otherwise you will feel drowsy and tired. This method is a creative secret of Leonardo da Vinci and Salvador Dali. Dali would place a metal tray near his bed, where he sat with a spoon in his hand. When the spoon fell, the artist would wake up from the clang. This intermediate state between sleep and wakefulness gave him new ideas. Winston Churchill, one of the greatest Britons, kept to this schedule. He went to bed at 3 in the morning, woke up at 8, and then slept for about an hour in the afternoon. You must sleep sometime between lunch and dinner, and no halfway measures. Take off your clothes and get into bed. That's what I always do. Don't think you will be doing less work because you sleep during the day. You will be able to accomplish more. He wrote. The outstanding physicist and inventor Nikola Tesla only slept for two or three hours a day. He could work all night long, but most often used this sleeping technique that was later named after him. Scientists studied the sleeping patterns of babies, elderly people, and animals. Elephants, for instance, keep to a schedule known as every man and sleep on average two hours a day, one hour at night, and then three or four 15 minute pauses during the day. There should be equal intervals between the periods of short sleep. This schedule is considered the most flexible and easy to adapt to. B.
Besides, short sleep can be skipped without any damage to health. Bonus, when to go to bed to wake up rested at the time you need, if you are not ready for extreme experiments with your sleep but still want to wake up easily, you can calculate the period of time when your body is going through rapid eye movement sleep. That's the time when waking up is easiest. Besides, don't forget about the right sleeping position.